So, after taking quite a bit of L's on my <laughs> myth PvP video, um, I decided, you know what, let's go back to Legendary PvP, which is actually, in my opinion, it's my preferred PvP, especially with my Storm Wizard here. So, I'd like to welcome you guys back to another Storm PvP video, Legendary Storm PvP. And, as always, guys, I'm going to show you the stats, here the stats. Because everyone's like, oh my god, Frenzy, where's the stats? I need to see the stats. I need to see the gear. I need to see everything. Like, seriously, my man, it's like, it's really not that hard. <laughs> but, you know what? I, I, I'll show you every video anyway. So, here's what we're rocking. We're rocking lower zigzag head. We're rocking the zigzag rube. We're rocking the Holston boots, which you get from Festus Horde pack. This one, which is, you can get from the Aqualon, uh, Immortals lore, actually, pack. Duelist uh, Thame. We got this from the Bazaar because of health reasons. And also, the cloak is pretty useful sometimes. Uh, we got the Duelist Daredevil ring. And we also got my man's Kobe. Uh, which is basically a double pierce, triple damage, and proof pet. And afterwards, we got the Maelstrom deck, which you can actually craft this in the Floating Islands in Celestia. Obviously, yes, I am very well aware that the one that's dropped from uh, Belosh is actually better, but I don't have time to farm it, really, because why? <laughs> and it's not really that big of a deal for me, either. I seem to be working just fine with the setup I have right now. However, guys, we're going to be waiting until we get a match, so be right back. You know, as much as I really love uh, Legendary PvP, the only thing I really hate about Legendary PvP is definitely the matchmaking because it takes forever to find the match and then sometimes when you get to a high enough level then you just go against people with Shadow Pips and then the game just changes all over again. So, not really the best thing for me. However, we're gonna go against Guillory going second as a Storm, so that's not really the best kind of odds I really like to be around with. We're gonna go for a wild bolt here. Hopefully he made me waste his pips. Okay, he didn't waste his pips, so he's definitely gonna probably his best move right now, which honestly I don't recommend, but somehow storm wizards and people who are brainless in this game tend to get extremely lucky when it comes to this thing. But he's gonna probably go for a storm lord too, likely a uh insane bolt, which probably is something I probably would have done if I didn't have anything at the moment, and which I don't have anything at the moment, which really sucks. And now we know that he's definitely gonna go for a storm lord more than likely, just because I couldn't find it uh a stun shield which honestly is a little bit of a yikes for me because i really would have loved having a stun shield it's definitely something i would really love to have at the moment unfortunately though i didn't really have that much of a privilege so it looks like i'm going to be getting stunned into likely even a calypso hit let's see can i get a crit thank you very much and i probably even go for an insane bolt next round because it's getting to that point to where i'm just probably a little desperate and that probably might be my best move for anyway <laughs> because a combo hit definitely is going to kill that or maybe even do another Calypso because a thousand health is quite a bit. Maybe he won't go for it. Maybe he won't. Maybe he won't. There's a possibility that he won't. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I maybe I maybe hoped a little too much. Maybe he gets a new pip next round. Maybe probably not, but there's a chance. Okay, he doesn't have any pierce. So yeah, this isn't gonna do anything. The Queen Calypso also shouldn't really do as much damage either. So I'm pretty much in the clear. <laughs> Oh no, please, please don't hit me, please don't hit me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck! I swear, I knew this was gonna happen. Okay, you know what, good match. This is what I do anyway. This is what I do anyway, GG. All right, so first match didn't go so well. Obviously, the Storm Lord, I couldn't find a stun block. It is what it is, so we're gonna be right back for the second match. All right, <laughs> I know, right? He <laughs> went off of a critical, exactly. That's what sucks. <laughs> All right, so this time we're going to go against the fire. Uh, we're going against David Dragonblade. Hopefully this round goes well. Honestly, I think these PvP videos are just going to be me just losing majority of the time because let's just be honest, I haven't been getting the best of luck as of lately. But really, no one does. I mean, it is it is just whiz, so no one really gets that much luck. Some people do, some people don't. And he's probably going to go for a stun block just to prevent, you know, you know, some storm lords or whatever. Just some BS to happen to him, basically. So we're going to go ahead use ourselves a lightning elf you know just for a little bit of damage but it's mainly for a strategic purpose of just getting myself didn't get the crit unfortunately uh just to get myself a little bit of momentum here going against him unfortunately he does use a stun block so i can't really go what i really want to go for so yeah we're gonna keep momentum going here i wish i had an enchant for a bat so that probably would have been a better thing to have at the moment but let's see what he does maybe a burning rampage maybe he'll go for a burning rampage Okay, so he goes for Iron Gut, actually. Not Iron Gut. I don't even know what the spell is, but it basically gives him a set shield out afterwards. That's what it does. That's all it does. Okay, so he doesn't have good pierce either. He's going to go for purely damage set, actually. Okay, does a decent amount of damage, though, because obviously the field. And we're going to go ourselves 
with a uh, Calypso here. Um, because, you know, why not? <laughs> Just why not? Why not go for a Calypso here? Okay, this actually should do a decent amount of damage here. So, let's see. Can I get a crit? Thank you. There we go. I have amazing pierce. So, this should still do like around a thousand damage or at least close to it. Okay, it didn't do a thousand damage, but it did something. It did something. It did something. So, you know what? I can't even complain. It did something at least. Let's see. I got a stone block, but I think it's a little too late to go for a stone block now. Uh, he has too much pips. He could definitely go for it and maybe even an E for eat somehow and kill me that way. I love to I would love to use a weakness. I really would. <laughs> but I don't think it's the best thing to use at the moment. And he could definitely go for a rampage to uh, something else. So let's see. We'll go for a bat for the damage. Just for the damage. For damage purposes, we'll go for a bat instead. And let's see what he does. Maybe he'll be dumb and go for an Ifrit. Most likely he won't. He probably will go for a Rampage to another hit. Okay, so he goes for a Fire Elf. God damn it! Hmm. <sighs> I've been doing too many bad moves lately. I See, I think this is going to be the episode where I'm just taking lots of L's, man. I'm taking a ton of L's right about now. Okay, there we go. Get the crit through, I guess. Oh, Crafty Gear. Crafty Gear, of course. Of course he's using Crafty Gear. <laughs> Just kill me, honestly. I'd rather kill myself, honestly, at this point. Never mind, he killed me anyway. Okay, cool. That's cool. Yeah. Cool. Let me see. Using Crafty Gear, most likely. I know for sure you're using Crafty Gear. There you go. Bye. <laughs> yeah, guys. So, if you guys want to know why... I couldn't do like almost any damage. This is exactly why. So what he's using is Crafty Gear, just as I expected. Uh, wait, is he a level 70? You mean to tell me I was going second to a level 70? So you mean to tell me this? Okay, that's that's freaking weird. Okay, I mean that's that's cool. I guess. I mean, I don't even know. <laughs> Fuck it. So essentially, I'm going against a level 76. And again, the thing about level 76 is that they get really awesome Crafty Gear from Avalon. And this is pretty much what it is. The crafting gear. Actually, this is even from Avalon, I think. This is from, um... Actually, yeah. This is from Avalon, because I, I remember the hat. But this is essentially crafting gear. And for those who don't know what crafting gear is, uh, pretty much what it does, it gives a shit ton of elemental resistance. So this guy, knowing very well that Storm is very good at the legendary level, um, he knew very well that going for this crafted gear probably was his best option. Uh, not, it does reduce a little bit of his damage, but it doesn't matter because he's fire. But he will get tons of storm resistance as you can see here. Uh, you have this. You got... Uh, well, this doesn't really matter that much. Uh, you know, all of this gives resist, but this one mainly gives 20% storm resist. So that's why my storm hits didn't do any damage. So, unfortunately, what this means is that uh, I probably... The best move I could have done was just spam Insane Bolt. That's the best I could have done. So, yeah, that's just a little bit of an update just to let you guys know exactly why I didn't really do as much damage. But it sucks. However, we're going to be back with the third and final match. This is how it sounds when I'm walking on the sky Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da